11 hours. I didn't drink any liquid. I couldn't go 11 hours now because I have to pee. But uh, I, somebody bought me a hamburger, and 11 hours I answered questions. 11 fucking hours. If I was a $400 million man. I turned $820 into $445 million, which is true. And, um, and then I thought, oh, well, this, this business is a piece of fucking cake. I didn't know there was no money in it. And there is no money. All the guys are bust. Tony's got you know, some money. But everybody else is bust. I mean, when I say bust, I mean flat fucking broke. You got more money than 95% of the personal development speakers. That's how low the... The J-Man is one of the top who's lied in that stage. He's supposed to be <laughs> flat out lies. Well, they all lie. And I thought, oh, I mean, this is going to be this is going to be like shooting fish in a fucking barrel, or I don't say this. This is going to be sh shooting blind children in a pool. I don't use that analogy anymore because that's not considered too nice. <laughs> See, blind kids can't get away. But anyway, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> yeah. And so then I then it took me, but I went around. Uh, he was the second to the last uh, personal development. Um, speaker that I, I uh, audited or monitored, and I went to all of them. I, I told you I went to Gary Halbert, and I went to Ted Nicholas, uh, Dan Kennedy, all these guys. I went to the seminars, and I listened to their stuff, and it was nothing really original that I could see, and I wasn't a marketing guy. Some of the marketing guys are pretty good. Jay's pretty good. He's probably one of the best marketing guys. Um, I don't know how up-to-date he is on the Internet now, but, I mean, there was none then. And so that was in February. In May, I gave my first seminar at the, at the Sheraton. I told you 60, 70 people paid 1,000 a head. And I, 12 hours of seminar and three or four hours of question and answer. And the seminar is still the same seven steps it was then, except we've got a lot of now I understand why you can't do it, the emotional bank account and all that. And, so, and now we have all these uh, uh, tools in the toolbox, uh, all these uh, teacher's aids or whatever you want to call them. Um, and um, but before the seminar it used to be one day, just one day. And uh, it's developed the, the basis of um, is the same that I used successfully. And now, but what I underestimated uh, uh, dramatically is that people discounted the fact that I did it because they'd look at me up on the stage. I'm no Dan Pena. Immediately they went into the default victim mode. I'm no Dan Pena. I can't speak like Dan Pena. I don't look like Dan Pena. I don't sound like Dan Pena. And then, oh, well, he was lucky, he was this, he was that. Um, the, uh, nobody ever blamed my success on being from East L.A., though. We haven't got one guy that said that yet. But if I live long enough, I'm sure there will be somebody. Um, and uh, not because I went to any school, great school. And, um, and then it's, it's, it's morphed and developed. And then I developed a, um, a raising capital seminar. I didn't think we needed it. But some of my mentees says they don't understand raising capital, so I did that seminar, and that's part of the gig gigs you get. Uh, then I did a mergers and acquisition seminar. As part, I mean, all, then I did all these ancillary shit that I don't think are, uh, just confuses everybody. Uh, but they, everybody thinks they're golden, and and I haven't changed the tapes in 20 years because nothing has changed. And doing deals, raising money, the only thing that's changed is crowdfunding, and. The, um, and the Bible on crowdfunding is this book. I've never read it, but the, my kids have read it. And they say that it's the best, bold, crowdfunding. But other than crowdfunding, every way known to man how to get money from somebody else is in the seminar and all my, in the book that you're going to get, the tapes, the podcasts. Like I say, how do you get the fucking money? I can't be much more plain than that. And nobody reads it or looks to it, listens to it. It's the definitive, step by step, how do you get the motherfucking money? And, no, and as I think Walter said, they don't look at it, Walter, because they're not serious. They're not serious. Because after, you know, after you learn how to get the fucking money and then deal flow, well, fuck, what else is there? 
I may have to take action. I may have to do something. So they piss around and they ask questions, you know, and did you really get thrown out of school? And did you, were you trying to murder your teacher? And, uh, and that's all kind of bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. So what? So what if I was trying to murder my teacher subconsciously? I don't think I was, but, you know, maybe I was. But then I did a bad fucking job because he didn't die. And being the son of my father, my dad would be ashamed of me. Remember, son, what the definition of a clean shoot is. Everybody. The cats, the dogs, the goldfish. Everybody. Got to go. Yes, sir. Uh, so being in control, so you, you seem like you... You, uh, you remember me of that stat teacher. <laughs> I, I got it. Okay. So putting deals when you're still remaining in control. So you keep talking about potentially people rolling. No, no, you go, going against you. Rolling by, just so everybody... Rolling meaning they uh, decide that they're going to throw you out. Rolling. There, but there, that, that would mean that they have the ability to throw you out with, with their share. Okay, okay, okay. Good point. You're going to... If you listen to me, you're going to always have 50.1%. Okay. 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 But, okay, oh, but, remember, you don't incorporate till you do the deal. So up to the deal, they can go to the banks, they can go to the venture capitalists. Well, we don't need Bill. We don't like Bill anyway. He looks like a guy named grammar school teacher. We'll throw him out on his ass. Okay. Just before the deal. This before the deal. Before you've incorporated the capital. Correct. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. And it happens. We had a deal uh, about a year, year and a half ago. The, the CEO, the COO, and the CFO rolled on the kid. Stole the deal, hooked up with a Israeli VC, venture capitalist, and did an end run. Everybody understand, end run, they went around him. And he told us that the CFO was like a father to him. Don't get too chummy with these fuckers. That's why you're not bringing in. I know at least half of you are going to, oh, I got a cousin. I got an uncle. I oh, Forget your dad. Uh, Walt, your dad's a lawyer. Fuck him. We got no room for him. Okay? I got this. I got that. And, and you're going to, uh, I'm going to say no, and then, and then you're going to go share that with your wife. Oh, he says I can't bring in your brother. Well, just like I told you not to. But you can't help yourself because you're used to it. You just the, the shit comes out of your mouth, like diarrhea comes out of your mouth. You can't help yourself. But when I tell you, you know, and I don't like to explain, guys. I keep telling you that. I don't, you know, all the great guys that I was mentored, nobody ever fucking explained dick to me. This is how it is. Yes, sir. Very much like the military. You know, we're gonna flank and we're gonna. I usually say, why? <laughs> you know? You don't explain, you know? And you're going to think, and then when I tell you, it, it, I'll, I'll put, it's, it's in the gigs, eight gigs, or it's in the, the book, or it's in uh, the seminar slides, or it's on my site, or it's on all four. And yet you still ask me. I can't wait for your, oh God, I'm just waiting for your first report, Bill. I mean, because he looks mature, doesn't he? He looks like, he should know. He looks better than he is. And that's good. You look the part. You don't have to change what you look like. Okay? But, um, the, um, but I, I won't tell any of this. I, the good, that'll just be between us. I don't tell. I want to just fucking blast it out. I told you the fucking moron that was, looked like my stat teacher. I told you. But I won't do that. I don't do that. But I'm, sometimes I'm so tempted. But I don't. I don't. As, a, as uh, my experience with a lot of the guys out there, that they make fun of you. They make fun of you. you know. um, but um, so the, did I answer your question? Okay, remember, it's Don't Think and Grow Rich. It's a great book, though. But that and Release Your Breaks are dynamite books. And I go through the list of uh, seven or eight books that uh, you can read. You don't have to read any. We've got a guy that has done uh, about 100 million euros in deals the last two or three years that has only read one. Well, the, the, the joke was, one, he, when he came to me, he couldn't speak English. Again, another one. Um, he's uh, uh, Austrian. Um, the, um, he's only read one book. 
your first hundred million? He's never, he's never heard, he doesn't know who Tony Robbins is. He's never heard of Think and Grow Rich. Nothing. Hundred million euros in deals. Doesn't know anybody. Doesn't want to know anybody. Doesn't want to be your friend. And that's how you should be. If you want a friend, buy a motherfucking dog. And the, but he was a world class athlete. I mean, there are no friends in world class athleticism. You want to be on the gold uh, stand? Uh, fuck everybody else in the race. Fuck, I'm on board to pull up the gangplank. You understand that? Gangplank is what you get on a boat with, and then when you pull the gangplank up, I'm on board, fuck everybody else. That's why when the snowflakes want to save the world, get all the money you can, then go save the world. But it's, you know, it's, it's pretty fucking tough. Remember, Elon Musk made money in PayPal, blah, 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 first. And then he picked three projects that were quasi uh, save the world. One save the plan you know, planet, uh, we're gonna go to Mars. Uh, one is uh, uh, alternative energy through electric cars. I already told you my opinion about electric cars. Uh, and the other one is uh, solar, right? Yeah, solar. But he already made a bunch of money. You know, I don't think anybody's ever asked him, you know, did you think much about the fucking planet when you were, you know, you know fucking around in university? You know, I, I don't know how he'd answer it now. I don't know the answer, but I'm sure he'd have to be more politically correct with his answer now because he's such a high profile. And you listen to the tapes of these guys from 30 years ago. Well, Elon wasn't around 30 years ago. I mean, their stories have changed. Mine hasn't. Mine's been the same story for 24 years. And just as Dr. Shirley Teeter said, the only thing, when I got that big award, the only thing that's happened, changed with Danny is his uh, accomplishments caught up with his big fucking mouth. But I've been talking like this since um, I went back to school after the military, after school. Before school, I mean, I, I'm just a fuck around, you know, bum. The, um, but when I went back to school, I went back with a vengeance. I went back with a vengeance. And the difference between uh, destination and destiny is QLA. I mean, you guys have the tools, and as, as Dennis said, in the webinar earlier today. I mean, he's, he's got all the shit. He's got all the shit. And when we describe your uh, significant other being supportive, his wife really was and is. Dropped her career, moved, and moved to another state to, uh, for her. And she got a job, a secretary at camp or something, so, to help uh, while he continued on his march. Um, for um, completion. Let's see, where are we? Anything else? Who's my, uh, what time? <laughs> Five, six, I only have two, seven? Okay, I didn't think I had a seven. Okay, I'm sure I got a seven, okay. And tonight we eat in the pavilion? Yes. Okay, tonight's in the pavilion. And you can wear casual clothes, not jeans, I don't know what smart casual is, but I know that's what we say. I don't know what that means. Uh, they can? No, they can't. No, don't say that to him, Sally, because you don't. Uh, you remember last time we said you can wear what you like? They came like pigs that they normally are. That's how, you know, you come, you know, dragging your fucking knuckles. Like you, your normal life, you know? But you don't have to wear a uniform, Sarge. Okay. But I like seeing it, though. It brings back fond memories to me. The, uh, okay, anything else? Now, you have homework, and we'll discuss it tomorrow. And you also have another movie tonight you'll see in the pavilion. And I don't care if you've seen the movie, and we have a, it's an open bar tonight because it's in the pub. Uh, and uh, and, and uh, I should film, uh, but then... It, you are more comfortable eating in the pub than you are in the formal dining room. And you'll see it. You start talking shit and just all the shit I tell you not to do. And because I'm not sitting there, are we gonna sit? Oh, I guess we're gonna sit there now. 
okay, uh, you, you talk shit, and he starts slipping back into default, you know. Uh, but it's very much like a mess hall, uh, and then the, we're feeding you alcohol. And it's an open bar, and open bar doesn't mean anything. No, I'm going to drink the same at an open. Open means free. Open bar, uh, does that mean the same thing in Liverpool? <laughs> open? Aren't the Beatles from Liverpool? And they turned me down. I'm going to write a letter to the chancellor of the fucking school. Okay, YouTube, thank you.